Hey everyone, I'm here at a client's house. They did a new deck, so they removed the old deck, put in a new deck, and they wanted to update the electrical while they were doing it as well. I was recommended to come in and see what they wanted and do what they would like done. So what we ended up doing here is, I'll put some images of the before here when I first showed up. But here's what we're dealing with right now. So there was just two spotlights here. So we've gone to six spotlights and then there's a ceiling fan going in. And then we got the, there's three puck lights here. These are actually wrong. There's some old stock I had, new old stock, and I can't get them to work. And if we come over here, we've got another wire here to be able to add some puck lights on this stair here as well. So we're gonna add three more puck lights here across that step. And then the six, the six pod lights are actually RGB, so we'll be able to... So the pod lights are RGBW, which means that you can change the color of them so that you can go pink, orange, red, green, blue, or you can just change the CCT of the white. So you could have 3000, 4000, or 5000K, and they're all controllable by Bluetooth. But yeah, so I've just got to cut my pod light holes, my fan hole, and my other two pod light holes, and redo my puck lights, and we're off to the races. And then I'll come back next week and do the fan, because the fan's not in until Tuesday or Wednesday next week. And then yeah, I'm gonna get rolling, and I'll show you guys a trick. The new pod light or the new puck lights here are actually bigger than the old ones, so show you a trick on how to do that but I'm gonna get rolling okay so first thing first on drilling new holes for anything you want to figure out what size hole you even need so we're gonna take our new hole what we're gonna need for a new hole which is this new puck light, which leaves you a nice, nice profile. Then you're going to take your hole saw or whatever you're going to use for drilling holes. I'm going to be using a hole saw. So we're going to take what we think is the right size. through there sorry it's a little chilly out today so as you can see that would work but the hole is going to be just about too big so we've got one more that's a size down so you got this guy here I'll run this in here Run that in there, and that's a lot, lot tighter of a fit. So we'll use this guy. Now that we've got the size hole saw that we're going to use, next up is going to be removing all of the old puck lights. And it doesn't matter, we're not going to be keeping any of these. So we're just going to take these all out since they didn't work anyways so here's the other connection that we used before but I ran out of heat, heat shrink or not heat shrink they weren't causing me issues so 
and we're going to remove it. I'm going to drop the wire down in the bottom here so that I can then fish it back up after. Here's the wire. So if you were to just take your hole saw and drill a hole here, it would be fine. Your center pilot holds it straight. However, if you go here and you try to drill a hole, it can walk all over the place and we just need to go a little bit bigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole through our plywood here. Then we can hold our plywood where we need it and drill our hole, get our hole started. That way it's started and we have a ring in. Then we can move the plywood, finish the hole and everything is good to go. So firstly, we'll toss this in our... And then we'll drill our hole over here. So this will give us a nice pilot. Then we can just hold this where we would like it. Take our hole saw and have it walk all over the place. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we are going to get the wires in and loop them around all of these puck weight holes. So now we got the wires are all in. Get that all sawdusty. I probably should have blown that off first. Here's what we're gonna do. It's just a matter of connecting up our wires, connecting up our puck lights. So we'll go with the white, it'll match the pot lights that are going in the top are also white. Same with the fan that they ordered has a bunch of white in it. So we'll just match it all the way around. So. We grabbed the Home Depot special. We've got 16 to 22. We need two of these. We're going to, I would like to stagger these. So we should actually strip more of this, shouldn't we?
is I would like to put all of it in this guy. So we're going to stagger this back. about there that way this guy should be good there strip those just have them here insulated is here This one is here. And then we'll just match red to red. Come here. And then we can do this. So now we're going to take this. So we're here working on the transformer box where my transformer is going to sit here. This is the switch leg that's going to go to the transformer. I just shoved the wires for both sets of step lights back down the hole because it doesn't quite need to make it just a little bit bigger that way I can get my three quarter inch in there. So we're just going to... start working it a little bit larger. There we go. So now that we've got that in there, I can just cut my pipe off and drill the hole that far away from the wall through the bottom so I can run my connector into the bottom. That way we can do all this together at once. So first thing we're gonna mark is this hole. That way we can come in the center. And then in the center here, And then from the wall, we're going to be one and three quarters. It's going to be right there. So now we're going to go over to the other side and we're going to drill these two. We're going to drill a three quarter here and we're going to drill a half inch here. So now that we're on this side, we're going to take the auger off. Here's our half inch step. So we're going to use the half inch step in the back. Just like so. Then I've got my three quarter inch step here. 
And we're going to take this three quarter. And we're going to go on the bottom here, just where the crosshair is, and we're going to do a three quarter inch hole. So, what this gives me the ability to do is run the three quarter inch TA, which is right here, I think. So, we can run the three quarter inch TA into the bottom. This will go into the deck. And then in the back, we'll run just a plastic 4040 that sticks into the back. And then I can spray foam up the hole too. And we'll silicone around it. That way we're off to the races. Okay, so I grab my fish tape and I push the wire down the hole. So now I just have to grab the wire tape it back onto my fish tape. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's my wire, my fish tape here. So just we'll just pull it back, wind in the fish tape, that way we don't scratch anything while we here's all the wire. Then we just remove the tape. We have conduit that is going to come in the bottom. We siliconed the box and then we're just going to put the connector in the back. Oh, I was going to spray foam this, wasn't I? Let's see if my see if my spray foam is good. So we're using the LePage tight foam that comes with the stopper so it's reusable so we'll see if it actually oh yeah it is reusable that's sweet. Okay, so doesn't help that it's cold out. So we got that. We're going to pull this in. And then I'll take this. Wires. Like so. Let's not lose that in the, under the deck. It's the only one I got. He's into here. I had a KO filler. We're just going to put these in here. Come on. We're going to 
put this in here. Just going to grab some screws and my level and we'll tighten this down. So just like this, we're going to put a screw here. So here's the end result. We got our three puck lights here on. We've got our six pot lights overhead. We are just waiting. The ceiling fan should be in next week. We've got the transformer there. I'll label that when I come back. And then we come to this side of the deck. We've got three more puck lights here. And that's the end result. Have a nice, bright space now.